We'll begin in House District 3B, which includes the extreme southern portion of St. Louis County, except Duluth, and the southeastern corner of Lake County, including the city of Two Harbors. We'll hear first from Democratic Farmer Labor Party candidate Mary Murphy, the incumbent from Hermantown. Two years ago, I came before you just like this, and I was so excited because we had just finished the 2013-2014 session. And that was an unprecedented session in the history of the state of Minnesota, especially for education. And we made um, unprecedented, unprecedented investments in K through 12 and higher ed too, but mostly early childhood through 12th grade. And I was asking for your votes so that we could continue on with that but instead you chose to go back to divided government, which has worked okay, not great, but I'm asking you again, can we go back to giving Governor Dayton a help from the House and the Senate majorities? That's what I think we need for the next two year period. And four years ago, or two years ago when I came, I said, to continue the investments in education, we needed at least four years. So this coming session will be the third of the fourth year that I think we need in, in St. Paul. I accepted the divided government and I worked hard and I will continue to do so no matter what you give me if you elect me again. This is my fourth year with uh, serving District 3B. And it is the best district in the sense that it's geographically long and not too wide. It takes over an hour to get to one section, from one section all the way to the end of the other section. We have two cities that are over 100 years old, Proctor and, um, Proctor and Two Harbors. But there's two new cities, Hermantown since 1976 and Rice Lake since 19, or 2015. We have 13 townships. We have um, two counties represented, Lake and St. Louis. And we're ready to go with growth. That those populations have grown and we're ready for growth. Last week, Scott Lyons was sitting next to me at lunch and he said, what are you going to do, Mary? I don't want to know what you've done. We know that. What are you going to do? And I'm going to continue to work for our kids and our families. Families strengthen our economy in the short and long run. Education is the foundation of our ed education strength. I want opportunities for young people. I want good, safe communities for our families. And I want seniors to have confidence and in their, <clears throat> that their retirement won't run out before they do. I want Minnesota to be better. And District 3B has room for growth. District 3B has, is the only area in northeastern Minnesota that has population growth since 2000 in every single precinct that we have. I want to work with this, and I want to work with you, the constituents, for a better Minnesota and for our future. The challenger in the House District 3B race is Republican Timothy Brandon from Kenosha Township. I'm Tim Brandon, and I'm running for District 3B. Uh, District 3B consists of the cities of Hermantown, Proctor, Duluth, Two Harbors, and Rice Lake and the townships of Kenosha, Duluth, Lakewood, Midway, Normana, Solway, Arnold, and Lake Number 2. Uh, I chose to run this year uh, after watching the breakdown at the legislative session uh, the, in the final days. Uh, I was frustrated like most people at both sides uh, that we couldn't seem to get a bill passed. Um, and then I did a little bit of research and I found out that my opponent was elected in 1976. While that's not a reason specifically to not elect someone again, um, I think a lot has changed in the last 40 years and I think it's time to step back, take a moment, pause, 
and really look at candidates as individuals and not just under a party. Um, I've discussed things with neighbors and friends and I think we're all very frustrated with both sides. Um, I know I am personally. Um, I am a Republican running under the Republican platform, but I, I'm not running on the Republican platform. I think there's a big difference there. Uh, we have a lot of career politicians who are running on their platforms, and I think they forget where they come from and who they represent. Um, I'm running as a representative, and my job is to represent everybody, not just the people on one side or another. I'm unsure of what my opponent may say, but I assume after watching years of videos that what she'll tell you is that the breakdown was because of Republican leadership and that if the DFL was completely in charge, everything would be fine. Unfortunately, no matter what side controls things, we, we still have problems in our government. And having one side be in leadership position doesn't necessarily solve those problems. It just makes it easier for that side. I come from a small business background where I see on a daily basis, you have to work together to create a business and to create profit and that it's important to work together. We have to get back to that where we're willing to work together. Um, my opponent will repeatedly say the DFL and the Democrats, I am here to represent the Democrats, the Republicans, the independents, everybody. I'm here as a representative of my district to get my district everything it deserves. I appreciate your vote, and I really hope that you go to electtimbrandon.com and look into me, but also go online and look into my opponent. Go to her website, see what things she's stated over the years, and make a decision that way. Uh, vote the person, not the party, and that's all I really ask. Thank you.